the train was really good. Um, we were in a sea sleeper. Um, we had a little bit of sleep to start with and then we woke up and chatted to a really nice family that offered us some food. <coughs> and then we were playing with her little girl called Anaya. And we've arrived in Ajmer and now we're in a cab on our way to Pushka. did it. What is this guy doing? He's got a cow. Just had to run away from a five-legged cow, believe it or not, because some guy tried to charge us some money for looking at it. <laughs> so we got to Pushka yesterday. Um, we was expecting like a chilled out a uh, small town, a bit like Hampi, but, and in a way it is, but it's also pretty manic, um, and one of the weirder places that I've been in India already. Um, we arrived and there was this big kite festival going on, so I think it was just a timing thing. We got here and everyone was kind of partying, and there was loud, random music pumping out until the early hours, but um, yeah, certainly a lot to look, and look around and see and do. Uh, the market's just one massive long stretch, um, which Charlie's quite enjoying um, and yeah well, we've got a few days here so uh, I think we're going to do a trek as well up to some temple. Check it out. Ice ball waller. What? Cost 200 rupees. Yeah. 
What did he say? Yeah, no, the lady white hair. <laughs> True. Looking good. It's just off into black and my hair as well because it's so great. Black henna. Black henna. Pushka. Very famous hair. Very beautiful. Benny. Welcome. Highly Hello. recommended. So it's about 9am and we've just started the Savitri Temple trek, which is supposed to take about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, yeah, there's not really anyone else around. Just bought some br biscuits for breakfast. They got chased by some wild dogs. I had to give them a packet of biscuits. Um, you can see all the mist down there um, across the town, which is quite cool. And we're heading up this way. Marathon training in progress. <laughs> so most people that come here, I reckon, take the ropeway. See here, but we've really been wanting to do some trekking on this trip, and we haven't really had much of a chance to yet. So this is quite a nice, easy-ish one because it's got actual steps. There's no kind of scrambling around on rocks, as far as I can tell. So it should be a pretty nice one. And on the diet of pizza and curry, you gotta get moving. Yeah, it's good to do a little bit of exercise when the uh, dietary options are pretty slim. You can hear those nasty dogs down the bottom screaming away and fighting each other. And yeah, that's the view of the mist that I was talking about as you can see earlier, which is clearing now. When we read online that took an hour, it must have meant half an hour up, half an hour down because we've only been going for about 15 minutes and we're quite near the top. So the steps are getting steeper and steeper as we go up, so it's dead easy at first, but now it's getting a bit tricky just because the steps are Really steep. We've just spotted some monkeys. Come to greet us. If you give them a banana, then they'll all want one. Some pretty big monkeys.
Bye 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 Baby monkeys. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So as you can see, we made it to the top. The view's pretty spectacular, um, but on the way into the top section, um, some monkey took offence to me taking photos of his friends and tried to attack me. It was all pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty hairy for a moment. Um, he kind of properly came at me, teeth like that. Um, and you don't really know what to do in those situations. Do you? Do you kind of try and scare her away? Do you just run away? So. But we made it into the this top derelict building to thing. Okay. I was <laughs> literally. Going, no, ah. no. Yeah. So, um, so be careful. Um, the monkeys look kind of friendly, but um, you could end up getting almost attacked by them. But yeah, it was worth it coming up here for the view. There goes our Dutch friend, who also got attacked by monkeys. Seems like he made it through. Okay. Yeah, despite being attacked by monkeys on the way into this top bit, I definitely recommend coming up here. Um, because the view is just amazing. We're just going off road in. Off grid. How are you? Good. Yeah, say hello. What is your name? My name's George. My name's George. Nice to meet you. Hello, girl. Hello, girl. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So we're back down the bottom. It did actually take about half an hour on the way up, half an hour on the way down. Um, and we spent about half an hour up there taking photos because it was such a good view. Watch out for the monkeys and also watch out for the um, holy men on the way down that try and put a bindi thing on your head. Some guy next to us just got like literally grabbed up and pretty much assaulted um, all so that this guy could put one on his head and try and charge him a bit of money. So yeah, watch out for those two factors and you'll be fine. It's a really nice little trek um, and all stairs. So we've run out of money, so Charlie's trying to get, all the cash machines are broken, so Charlie's trying to get some, some dough out. Um, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you what Pushka's like at night time. It's pretty cool. There's lots of um, always interesting stuff going on in Pushka, on the main strip. This little bit's quite nice down here. Uh, this is by the Brahma Temple, which we haven't actually had time to properly check out, but it looks really good if you've got more time and yeah this is the main kind of strip loads and loads of shops all selling the same stuff paint bangles alibaba trousers clothes that my friend rosie keely would would love and loads of stuff that charlie likes here she is i'm going 
to try and get money from somewhere. But where did the other place tell you to just go down here? Uh, yeah, they only accept pounds. Oh god. <laughs> We're a little bit, we're a little bit on edge with animals at the moment after our monkey attack this morning. But the dog, most of the dogs are just nice and friendly. Um, occasionally they'll kind of snarl at you and stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that dog was just like <laughs> being really friendly, but go <laughs> away. Hello. Stop. Stay. No. So yeah, that dog was just nibbling me a bit, but what the locals do, they just kick them. Obviously, I don't want to kick a dog because I love dogs, but yeah, it's just a bit of a strange one, really. But yeah. Charlie's excited about this potential size of these noodles. Sometimes when you get street food, it's like, the size can really vary. It can be tiny, it can be big. Maggie? <coughs> they want Maggie, which is like instant noodles, isn't it? They want Maggie. What's it saying, Charlie? Yeah, it's really good. The sacred cow gets barged out of the way by a tick -tick. Oh, this is Ben. This is your brother? What's your name? Manu. Manu. And this is Benny who camera cut my shop. hair. And he's got a camera good shop. shop. Camera shop, good, good guy. We're just chilling on the sidewalk. Chilling on the block. Thanks. Yeah, it's not bad. But I don't know how to use it properly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, from England. Where should we stay in Jaipur then? Sindhi camp. Right. Sindhi camp. Sindhi camp apparently near the bus station. Near the bus station, railway station. We'll, we'll run with that. Big city. the city. Tourist place. Tourist palace. Cool. We'll go with that. So it's 7 a.m. Just boarded the coach from Pushka to Jaipur. Told us it would take about three hours, but let's. Let's see how that goes. Um, and yeah, the coach is actually left in time, which is a minor miracle. So we've been going an hour. We're still in Ajmer. We've just been waiting around for about half an hour for some of the other passengers to get biryanis from some shack on the side of the road. Uh, and another backpacker just like stormed off, so we were a bit like, what's going on? But yeah, an hour in, and we're still basically in the same town as Pushka.